hmm. which is supposed to secure or rather uh, help uh, hmm. diabetics hmm. in terms of erectile dysfunction. Hmm. Can you just tell us what is that product? Because we get a lot of emails regarding this simple issue of erectile dysfunction. Yeah. Basically, as you know very well, if you, we are talking erectile dysfunction only connected with diabetes, then okay. it's purely and purely because of the blood circulation, nervous system and muscle tone really collapsed okay. in the zone where it, uh, the reproductive zone fundamentally, right? So even if diabetics have a good um, male hormones, they cannot have firm erection because these three are not functioning properly. So I, for diabetes particularly, it is very fundamental to keep the sugar stabilized okay. and work on the root cause which is metabolism so that these toxins don't attack blood vessels and the nervous system and this and that, you know. Okay. That's very important first, fundamental. And second, there is this a simple combination which somebody can try. I have I have given it to the people and they have found a good improvement in their situation with that combination which contains ashwagandha, okay. one teaspoon. Then it contains uh, kaucha, you know kaucha bees, uh, bees is uh, mucuna, prunes, okay. ashwagandha is vidanya, somnifera. Okay. So, um, and these are vegetables? These are all the herbs you can oh. get in any Ayurvedic stores. This okay. is just normal. I'm just giving this okay. formula which we use okay. for people's benefit. Okay. Okay. So ashwagandha one teaspoon or or kaucha one teaspoon or gokshur one teaspoon. These three combined together. Okay. Take it two times a day, mm -hmm. and I have seen in every kind of erectile dysfunction a good change happening within three to six months. It takes very long time because it is working from inside and it's slowly, slowly, anyways, nothing works for them. So they see definitely a change. I see. And how many of your patients have actually reported that uh, it has improved their system? I would say... In terms of percentage? Yeah, we... I would say 50%, yeah. 50%? Yeah. And is there any particular age group that it works on? Because nowadays... Time Younger time age is better. Okay. 70 plus is very difficult. I see. Okay. Very difficult. I see. But if it's under 60, 45 to 60, I would say at least 70% result is there. But when there is more than 70 years, means hardly 20, 30% results. So I'm just averaging out because of that. Because now we see that the increasing number of... Uh, also one teenage. more thing, uh, mobile phones, mm -hmm. when people put in the pocket, uh -huh. it impacts badly their fertility and impotency both their potency and fertility both. So only by telling people to remove mobile phones from the, the pocket, pocket itself has improved it just for your knowledge. It's very simple no, but very effective. Uh, earlier you said that don't put your mobile phones on your shirt pocket because it affects your heart. It affects everything, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's best to keep your mobile phones away. Far yes. away from yourself. Yeah. Okay. As much as possible. Okay. Now, can you also tell us if uh, the, your Ayurvedic medicine can help, uh, you know, uh, female in uh, the reproductive system? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because exactly in the same manner as uh, male, uh, female also who are diabetic, they they lose muscle tone, they lose the blood supply, the vaginal dryness is very much. Double than normal can also female. Pregnancy? It can impact the pregnancy as well. So, so um, we have treated lots of people who have uh, pregnancy-induced diabetes, and it definitely oh, helps a lot. Yeah, gestational diabetes. It it definitely helps. Mm -hmm. But people, uh, the women who have 45 plus, and they get diabetic, and they're you know, sexual, um, uh, uh, this one is re reduced, okay. desire or uh, orgasm is not coming, whatever, I mean, libido is there, loss of libido is there. That time, uh, a simple uh, herbal preparation can help a lot. I see. It contains one teaspoon of fennel seed powder, okay. a quarter teaspoon of uh, ajwain seed powder, one teaspoon of cumin seed powder, a pinch of asafoetida mm -hmm. and one teaspoon of shatavari powder. This combination generally helps with every uh, uh, woman who is menopausal and has difficulty in libido, loss of libido, okay. reduced libido, dryness in vagina, everything. But 
particularly diabetic women has it almost three times more than normal menopausal women. So they will definitely benefit from this. So essentially you are trying to say that Ayurveda can help diabetics, especially in related, in related complications. Yes, very that. much, very uh, much, yes. In what other ways can it help, in other than sexual uh, issues? Uh, how about, uh, are, are there medicines available for heart, kidneys, eyes, uh, nervous system? Yes. You know, Anil, I want to tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Ayurveda is not just medicine. Um, it's not a pill solution. But it's a solution which is holistic. So people sometimes think, ah, so you know. So it's not actually targeted towards one organ, it actually No, it, it, it is a holistic thing. It, it contains diet, it contains lifestyle, it contains specifically designed detox programs and herbs Absolutely. and marma. So these are all part and home remedies like what I was sharing right now, only from cumin and fennel and everything you can actually just take care of yourself. So it contains everything together and it is really working on the root cause of uh, diabetes which is what we call as metabolic syndrome. I am talking about type 2 diabetes now yes. because majority people majority. have that. So I am just focusing on that. Right. But uh, metabolic slowdown is the key and the most important reason for type 2 diabetes. Of course, I mean it comes from uh, hereditary as well but if you look at you know people who keep their metabolism good, they don't get it. But people who don't work on metabolism, they definitely get it. Okay. So uh, on one hand, what we can do is that you suppress the sugar with something mm -hmm. and not do nothing about metabolism. Okay. But this metabolism which is really bad anyways, it will always keep producing uh, blockages and toxins and it will then result in cholesterol, blood pressure, related toxins related uh, deposited in the kidneys or fatty liver or heart problems or toxins blocking the you know vein here and creating some retinal problem. Uh, different things will come up. So, Ayurveda focuses on mainly the metabolic uh, balancing, activating the metabolism. As I told you that we believe the main cause is Dhatvagni. Mm -hmm. So our focus is activating the metabolic uh, cycle completely in a manner that body itself is naturally healthy. So sugar is naturally good, other things are not naturally happening. And we at Ayushakti particularly have a diabetox program for diabetes. Okay. This Diabetox program has a very specifically designed diet plans, mm -hmm. then it has lifestyle uh, suggestions. We Can also... Can tell us what the diet plan and the lifestyle suggestions Yeah. Are? The diet plan is basically fundamentally, uh, I advise people to stay more on protein and vegetable diet. Mm -hmm. Okay, moong is my favorite mm -hmm. because moong is t detoxifying. It removes toxins, it activates metabolism and it is high protein. True. It has a natural B12 and a lot of uh, isoflavin which are very very good antioxidants you know. So moong is my favorite but we, we tell people to basically stay on lots of protein and vegetables diet. For diabetics I specifically advise people to stop five things and rest of everything they can have. Which is rice because it's a simple carbohydrate not so good potatoes, uh, fruits initially and then once metabolism is active I would recommend them to take fruit but to begin with fruits okay. as well. Okay. Wheat I tell them is a poison. I have seen that people who stop wheat in two to three months their sugar levels are controlled. It's amazing. I don't know. It's amazing because wheat is very inflammation causing and toxic. I see. It, it's mucusy, so it blocks everything. I see. So wheat and red meat. These are five things I tell them to stop completely. If possible, even yogurt, because Ayurveda says yogurt is abhishandi, which means it is blockage creating. Oh, really? Yeah. So I tell them buttermilk is fine, Ayurveda says, but yogurt as it is is abhishandi. So I tell them try and stop that as well. And on the other side, I, I we recommend at Ayushakti every person that you take 70% vegetables in your diet and 30% protein, maybe just 60% vegetable, 30% protein and 10% uh, 
of Car carbohydrate which will be containing only millet ya jwari oh. ki roti okay. bajre ki roti oats ki roti something like this but not really wheat at all and no rice at all what about lifestyle doctor Lifestyle, I definitely recommend. My husband is diabetic, as I told you earlier. He's never taken any allopathic medication in his life, and he's diabetic for 20 years. Only managed through Ayurveda and lifestyle and diet and detox. So he uh, he, he follows these things, and that's what I recommend everybody: uh, pranayam, okay. anulom vilom, and kapalbhati, because this is working on pituitary and hypothalamus and the whole metabolic central you know system so i definitely recommend pranayam then walking or exercise as you know True. compulsory in fact i would suggest every person who is entered 40 plus mm -hmm. to start exercise every day if you want to prevent all metabolic syndrome even if you don't have diabetes just take out time for yourself 45 minutes every day okay so that you don't enter this dangerous zone of diabetes. Very true, very true. Yeah. I, I was about to ask you about yoga itself, but I guess you have already answered. Yeah, that. yoga, I, I, I always tell people to do a combination exercises, you know. Okay. Yoga is kind of stretches, which is good, but we need also uh, aerobic type. Okay. So running, swimming, playing table tennis, dancing, aerobic, anything that can burn the calories also should be part of the regimen. So it should be a good mixture of stretches and aerobic, calorie burning, something That's like this. That's actually the natural way, you know, when yeah. you're working in the field, yeah. you work very hard, physical. Exactly. So that, that <laughs> That's why, you know, way. earlier times, former times, when Charak Samhita was written, this Prameha was, Madhu Prameha was not so, so popular, wasn't so much. Because no, people yeah, used to work hard. It's possibly a 20th century uh, disease. It, it is a success, side effect of success, yeah, I would call it. Stress, effect. no exercise, only working. Exactly. <laughs> all, all about. <laughs>